Hey, Freddie here. I've got the Broad Spectrum car family in front of me from Axis here, the BSCs. We're just going to have a quick run through. Um, BSCs are mostly known for their beginner wind, wing foil wings. The 1060 has definitely been our best selling Axis product of all time, I would say, um, because that's what we've been teaching people mostly on to wing foil. Uh, it's about 1800 square centimetres, it just sits really nicely in that area of easy lift and carving and plenty of glide at the same time. Size wise it suits the vast majority of people. Okay. Um, the family of wings here, we are missing the 970 but there are six wings within the family and it's definitely a family of two halves. So we've got the three wings at the top, the 1120, the 1060 which we've got here and the 970 that I'm missing. Uh, these all fit on the Red Series fuselages, so they're a little bit deeper in profile. Um, the smaller side of the family, the 890, 810, 740, they all fit on the Black Series fuselage. And that shift there that generally shows you what they're most used for. So the bigger wings in the range are definitely more for beginner wing foiling and sup foiling. Tons of thickness up front loads of easy lift but still a little bit of playfulness for the carving around when you start learning your jibes and your tacks hopefully as well uh, and depending on the size of yourself might do well depend on which one you're going to be going for like i said 1060 is 1800 square centimeters the 1120 that we've got here this is 2100 square centimeters so getting on to being a quite hefty foil this one and the 970 I believe is about 1600 square centimeters let's pop that one down this takes a lot of boxes for around the 80 kilos size uh, 1120s is going to be for your bigger guys you'll probably see that in a few of our schools as well that's what they're teaching because it's, it's just super easy to get people up up and on foil on and the 970 for your 70 kilos and below kind of kind of weight they've got a super low stall speed so they just keep going they lift so early they're perfect for your early first few glides on a foil essentially and that doesn't just stop when you go down into the smaller wings so the 890 for instance which sits at 1290 square centimeters this was my first drop down wing foil wing so for when things were getting a bit windy that 1060 was just getting a bit overpowered so as soon as you were starting to go out in 20 mile an hour upwards that, when I got more comfortable, was getting to a top point of speed and it would start bucking me off. Because again, they're brilliant at low speed. As soon as you're going to get to a higher speed, that's when they're going to start struggling. That's when we have the option of dropping down to a smaller size. And if you're going to be going out in more of those conditions, that's when it's more suited to, to add a smaller wing on. So at 1290 square centimetres, this was my drop down. Still really, really easy to get onto the foil, and I still laugh now I get on when I get back onto one of these how easy they are to actually get up and onto foil. Very, very slow, bang, they're up and you're off. Okay. This also, the reason I went for this one as opposed to the likes of an HPS straight away is because I was trying to learn to prone surf to, to surf foil at the same time, and that's where the BSCs really do come in. Nice and comfortable, nice and carvy. The 890s, the 810s for the smaller guys are really, really um, fun surf foil wings so playful on the waves you tend to find a lot of the faster wings can outrun these waves so you want to stay more in the pocket they say on the on the waves and that's where these bsc's can come in really nicely and they handle a lot more carving i also have spent quite a lot of time on the 810 um, which is, sits around 1,090-ish square centimetres. And I kite foiled a lot on this one. So again, as a family of wings that crosses over to absolutely everything, they do really, really well. I've had my eye on the 740 for a long time for kite foiling. I haven't used it personally. I had the 810 for prone foiling and crossing over to kite foiling as well. You don't, didn't want to go too small straight away. But the 740 would make a fantastic free ride kite foil. They all sit around the 65 um, uh, aspect ratio but the cord on the 740 is only down at about 140 mil so it's actually really nice and reactive not the fastest foils in the world by all means but when you're learning to wing foil when you're surf foiling or when you're wanting to have a free ride kite foil that you can really just play around on some bumps and some chop they're brilliant have a look through them if you want any help choosing a size give me a shout